kiss with Jay really got your girl trending Coming like these Lani good tweets never ending Little did they know I had more bangers pending This is fire in the booth with a bad bitch attending Love it when he lit my ass and kiss me in my mouth Stop it, top it, pull it out and bust up on my blouse I let him know he's fucking with the realest bitch about He be coming from west but be going down south If it's not Christina, then it's Becky Exactly! That's what I just said! 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 Girls, 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 all the time. I'm always having issues with Jamel. You're gonna catch an STD. Combined. You're gonna catch an STD. You better be using condoms. That's all I'm saying with you. You gonna catch an STD. You gonna catch a mother's effing STD if you keep sleeping with this boy, bald boy Jamal, because he is a player, and he's been honest. That he's a player. He's showing you himself. But you choose not to believe him. God said. God said that when a mother ever shows you who they are. You should believe them. Jamal has shown you that he's a popular clubhouse personality. A, a, a PT. Never date a PT. A, 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 a good looking man who is ready to spread his oats. He about. He's out here. He's out here spreading his oats. Jamal is not loyal. Jamal is out here. Jamal is a slut. And you have chosen to be with a slut. That is on you. But wait. <laughs> Bitch. Nigga. He's taking you. He's taking you for chewing gum. Okay. He's taking you for chewing gum. He is cheating on you. He's he he's sleeping with his ex. He's telling his ex he loves her. He's sleeping with with Christine. He's sleeping with everybody. I don't care. If you next next week, if you don't flip your lid, if you don't flip your lid, like I want Fed police to pull up to that to that therapy session. Do you understand? Police to pull up to that therapy session. If you don't smack his face, yeah, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Hey guys, it's me, Lani. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing a blue trailer reaction. I wasn't gonna do one again. I was only gonna do like a one-off, but I've been asked to do another reaction. So I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoy my reactions. I have no idea what's happening in this episode at all. I haven't even been online. I've been working really hard today. Also, if I look really doled up, it's because I am being set up on a blind date on YouTube. Um... I need to leave in half an hour. The guy's called Dem TV. Dem TV official. I'm sure a lot of you know him. He's got 100k subs, so like, you know, he's not a nobody. So yeah, make sure you lot catch my blind date on his channel. I'm gonna go over there after this. I'm just gonna curl my hair while I watch Blue Therapy. I know the episodes are not half an hour, but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pause the episode at all. I'm not gonna pause it at all. I'm gonna run it all the way through. So when I'm talking, I'll just put volume down on the, sh the, the, the episode. So let's get it, let's, let's effing get it. Let's get it. Blue therapy. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. There we go, guys. There's Paul. We like a bit of Paul. Our last session in therapy. Um, Chama hasn't come back home. I have no idea what that's about. That's not normal to me. But obviously, I'll blame the therapy because, as I knew, this whole therapy thing was full of crap anyway. But hmm. at the same time, Is you know, it? coming here today, I'm, I'm here alone. But I do hope that she turns up. We'll just have to see. Since the last session, um, well, I went home. And on our way home, I don't think there was no remorse from Paul. And I kind of just deep that he doesn't rape me. I don't really feel like there's love there. So why am I actually fighting for this relationship? And I'm doing it alone. So yeah, I went home, I packed up my stuff and I went to my sister's. I, I just didn't feel like I needed to be in the same space with him. A man will embarrass you. A, week? a man will embarrass you. Is that a trick question? Not at all. I'm just wondering how your week's been. Why are you being rude to the therapist, bro? What do you think? Why are you being rude to the therapist? It's not her fault that you said that bullshit. Check yourself. It's your fault that you said that. It's your fault that you said that. Is it her fault? What do you think? Who asked you to say she was fat? Hi, Jesus. Who asked you to say she was fat? Hi. Men will embarrass you and then blame other people. Sorry. Who asked you? Hi. 
Okay, did you manage to fill in uh, the little um, questionnaires I gave you to go home with, uh, the homework I gave you last week? But they didn't. Um, I did, yeah. And what about you, Paul? I did. Oh, wow. Great. Shock that Paul did it. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of um, frosty angst between the two of you. Did you spend any time together last week, you know, working on what we were talking about? Sorry. Um, maybe I'm reading this wrong. You have spent time together over the last week. I've been at my sister's. Oh, really? Yeah. And what was the reason for that? To be honest, I just feel like maybe the last session didn't go as I wanted it to. Um, Paul was giving me bad vibes, and there's just a few things that bad vibes, I enough. think I've kind of reached my breaking point, you know? We're here for a reason, and if this doesn't work, then I have nothing else to kind of look to fall back on. So for me, it was... Um, I had to. I couldn't. I couldn't go back home, no. Okay. And how did that make you feel, Paul? He disrespected you! Um, well, to be fair, I feel like it was her idea that we, to come here. Yeah, it wasn't her idea I'm for you to embarrass her publicly. It I wasn't her idea for you to embarrass her publicly and call her fat. But that's kind of what she just done. Okay. I didn't do that. I mean, I, I didn't storm off. I don't remember, but I don't think I stormed off. Okay, so what actually Uh You didn't storm off. You were very calm she when you left home. here. She didn't come home. That's what happened. Okay. I needed peace. I think sometimes I'd, I would rather choose peace over war, you know? Uh, I, I still came today, so, you know, it, it says a lot, doesn't it? War. So that's a strong word, you know? Interesting, actually. Why did you use the word war? Um, it's a constant battle at home, isn't it? For me, he doesn't... If I put it simply, he doesn't listen. So if I'm complaining about something and he's not listening okay so we, we're going back to that are you both on the same page y'all are not compatible y'all compatible. is not you compatible you of course when he saw you when he saw her when she walked in he should have been given her a hug more than you do i got here first i definitely need an apology wow so because an apology she hasn't been home an apology, he's, he's tapped. Um, she, like, this is not apologizing to you. But what I will say is, when she walked in, he should have been like, oh, babes, I ain't seen you. He should have hugged her. Oh, babes, where you been? Like, oh, like, show her some affection. Like, show her that you care about her. It's not difficult to make a woman happy. things that you have done for each other over recent weeks. You can go first. Ladies first. Okay. Who would like to go first? Ladies first. Ooh, I don't mind which one of you goes first. That's not, I'm a gentleman, ladies first. And I'm telling you to go first. Well, She's asked you to go first. She should tell me what to do, or should we... So you're doing this again? No, 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 I'm just asking. Because, obviously, you haven't been home in a week. You haven't really said what's going on. You haven't apologised. Why would she apologise? Um, so, what was it again to, to the five things that you appreciate about each other? Okay, um, well, I appreciate the fact that Paul is my protector he's i wouldn't say not nice good provider and a good leader um you're being too nice chioma is family orientated you're being way too nice he has his head screwed on of course um and he can be occasionally um let's just say when we started dating he was very caring and loving and i and i love that about him I, I love that he can be like that i don't really understand what's changed but he can be such a lovely person and like i know this isn't him so i'm trying to fight for the poor i knew i once knew the poor i love i don't want to just give up okay the poor you should give up you appreciate women we always want to hold on to what we knew at first that's when they was on their best but um to answer your question i feel like we always we always hold on to what they was in the beginning and what they was in the beginning was their best behavior. And that's on what? We used to finish each other's sentences. Do you understand? And, you know, apart from that, one of the reasons which she's actually mentioned why I fell in love with her is food. 
like, obviously, but, no, I, I don't, because my diet has changed, fair enough. But at the same time, in terms of, like, on a day that I would want a cheat meal or, you know, just, in, okay, look, in terms of food tasting nice, my girlfriend, best, hands down, right? Um, I'd say that she's very caring. She's very considerate. She's very loving. She's very driven. She's very passionate. And I feel like, you know, she it's motivates nice, isn't it? me. Like, the... I'm just listening, because it's the nicest you've been for the ride, isn't it? So... No, I'm, uh, you know, you've never asked me. Okay, well, that's She shouldn't have to ask you to be she's, nice. She's my love. She's my love. I'm not going to lie. And I do see a future with trauma. I, 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 I plan to take things to the next level because I see that potential in her, like... She tries for me. I can't, she's been there. She's riding for me. I definitely feel like I could make this work. Oh, my hair's so much more improved now. I've curled it. Just need to spray it. Okay, so what these two are. Who is this? Ah, oh, fucking joke, couple. Going by yourself is one Sorry, Debs. Your You're a sweet girl, but absolutely not. Absolutely not. This, honestly, but I'm here now. I'm on time as well, so. The first session, I wasn't too happy with it, especially with the whole sister thing. But I'm hoping I saw on the shade, Barra. I'm hoping that we I saw on the shade, Barra. I saw on the shade bar that he was at dinner with a bitch. I wasn't surprised. Who was that? Your ex? Who was that? Your ex? Oh, fucking ass. Who was that? Your ex? Your ex? I mean, I guess we're still working through, you know, the things that we discussed previously, but... Um, Why is everybody ch dressed like they're going to church? Anyway, maybe that's what... Andy, did you tell them to dress like this? Talk about. Initially. Everyone's just really proper. Um, Jamal, it would be quite no one's just ratchet. Is that how you dress when you go to therapy? Um, Maybe. I feel like this session is definitely needed. Even though we've had a great week, but I feel like there's still bits and bobs that need to kind of be ironed out in a relationship. Um, Anything in particular? I'm getting to a point where I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting tired. Uh, I'm getting tired of her just popping up on me just randomly. And where I'm saying popping up, I'm talking about in my studio. Um, at my mum's house, even at my friend's house, I'm just thinking, okay, we get it, you've got my location, I've given you my location, that should be enough to satisfy your, your curiosity and your anxiety, that should be enough to kind of... You lot's relationship is toxic. She's she trusting me, really, truly, but popping up at my You pop up, house, you have his house. location, right. toxic. Popping up at your friend's house. Toxic. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily call it popping up, Denise, I think... You know, I'm interested in what Jamel does on a daily. No, that's popping up, sis. You know, it's very I'm strange that, that you do I that. I more of visiting and checking in. Visiting. Why would you just randomly show up? I question that. I question that's because he's a cheater and you know it. We all know it. It's obvious. He's a cheater. I know he cheated. I can smell the fanny on his, on his top lip. Looking at him through the screen, I can fucking smell it. Got smell the vagina on his um, top lip. Maybe Get a grip, sis. He's cheating, He's cheating on ya. He's cheating on ya. He's cheating on ya. Of course he's not trustworthy, but you're still with him. As a couple, for me personally, I'm not the type of person that just sits down and if I feel like something's going on, then you should break up with him. I'm definitely gonna look up or break up with him. Find out what's going on, and that's why you find me popping up. Or break up with him. Jamel, you're hiding something. So why are you dating him? Just why are you dating him? Strange. Like if it's not popping up on me, then it's checking my social activity, but it's a bit controlling. I don't understand it. It's a bit weird. Like why are you together? And I think it's <laughs> but it's, it just seems like she hasn't got time to to do other things. She pops up on him. On How are things going? It's weird, mate. Telephone Just break up with him, or accept that he cheats. Except that he cheats. So, um, in regards to the phone situation, Why are you in therapy? It's embarrassing. Jamal I'll keep this to myself. has his phone to his chest. Um, this week, Jamal has made a, a new friend called Christina. Um, so he... Wow. Name dropping, yeah? Yeah, so he said that they're clubhouse friends. Um, and for me, 
I've seen Christina message him this week, especially. He messaged, she messaged him, sorry, at like 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, and because he's a cheater. You know, feel a bit uncomfortable. Look into it is the fact that to read the message alone, he had to leave the room. Wait, I left the room. Yep. Because. Did yep, let me just say something. It wasn't a message, it was nudes. It was nudes. Uh huh. Christina's my bitch, she's my girl. I know Christina. We all know Christina. Christina, that hoe. It was the reason he had to get up to look at the message is because it was nudes. All right? Okay? I can see he's walked in, I can see that the fanny is on his top lip, ba babes, alright? I can see that his top lip has some residue, the fanny is on there. Do you understand? It's Christina's vagina. Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade, alright? He was with Christina. Period. Let's go. Cool. What are you going to say? What are you going to toilet? That's the sort of cheeky thing that he's like, oh, I'm going to the loo. It's not that serious. Yeah, that'd be obvious, but... Going to the loo? She left the room. Not going to the loo to look at her photo and you're really here chatting to me. He went to the loo to either send a dick pic back to her or wank it off. Mm, he was looking at the picture, he was like, mm, Christina, yeah, that ass, that ass, yeah, them tears, uh, uh, yeah, baby, yeah. That's what he did, all right? That's what he was doing while she was in the next room. Get a grip. Get the room to read the text message. To look at the nudes. Okay, so who's Christina? Okay, let's explain who Christina is. Christina, okay. Yeah. I just told you! Correct. He's new girl! We do something called Moderation TV. That's like a game show that we do on Clubhouse. It's pretty fun. Um, she's one of the members on my team. And I've explained Yep, like, and then after you do that, you guys send each other news. And we just call, uh, we talk about stuff regarding Clubhouse, how we're going to run the show, what's next planned, what's planned after Clubhouse when lockdown is officially over and stuff like that. Are you comfortable with her contacting you at that time of the evening? Um, to be fair, I don't really pay attention to in terms of the time. I feel like with... He doesn't rate you. ...coronavirus and stuff like that, it's, I don't really pay attention to He doesn't time. rate you. He just texts me, he just texts me, like... He does text. not rate no. you! Very secretive. Um, is he a billionaire? Why are you taking? Are you, why are you putting up with this? Is he a billionaire? Is he paying your mortgage? Automatically. Christina is his thing. Um, started saying, "Oh, you're always in my business." You know, that's the sort of things that Jamal no, says to me. I know I'm trying to do it with humor, so but you, you guys know he's cheating, innit? Like you know he's cheating. Like you know, business, like, business, you know he's me, effing Christina. He's effing Christina. Just accept it. If you want to do sister wives, do sister wives. Do sister wives. Because he's sleeping with her. So I'm gonna. Ask Why are we even having a conversation? If it was my boyfriend, I said spark him in the face. I said to God, I'll spark him in the face. Who the fuck is Christina? Who the fuck is Christina? Yeah, the bitch that you're fucking. Have you met Christina? No, I've not met Christina. So why is she so comfortable to message you and call your phone? Look how nice he looks. He's going to see Christina after this. In front of me. He looks very nice. I don't like the fact that they're going on a date after, after this. In front of me, Denise, we're still having issues with the phone. Oh, yeah, like sometimes I actually want to smash, smash the phone. Smash his phone. I just want to smash the phone because you don't come off your phone. It's a problem. I find it very strange how a woman can just message dumping. somebody that's in a relationship at 1 a.m. in the morning. Who cares? It's all her fault. Check your mind. I had a male message me quite late. No, I love you, Deb, but this is a night. No, no. this relationship is a joke. So, no. I don't want any female messaging him, no Christina, no Becky, messaging him at 1 a.m. in the morning. But what difference does it make if she messages him at 1 a.m. or in the afternoon? She's still gonna send him nudes. You done for each other lately? Well, I mean, I haven't been home. So, um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. This week, the other couple is more juicy than Choma and, and um, you know, help if he needs. Can you concentrate? Choma and Paul, I find the other couple more interesting this week because their, their relationship is shambolic. Shambolic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? No more. That's, I mean, lately. As in, you know, it doesn't have to be last week. It can I can be never be in that relationship. It is impossible. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> Personally. Sure, Personally. So, uh, Personally, it can never be me. Go back to the Personally. It can never be me. Every 28 days. Period. Um, literally, I make sure that um, all of her goals and targets 
I'm literally, I face them head well, on. Well, so these lot are trying to be she healthy this week. Up on certain phone calls in terms of business that she's trying to chase, I'll be there, you know, babe, have you done this? Okay, can I make this call for you? And um, sometimes when she has shortfalls with some things that she's trying to pursue, um, whether it be business-wise, career-wise, I'm there to kind of say, okay, look, if that lane doesn't work, let me call someone I know or let me try to push things in my way um, in order to... Is that a trade? I disagree with that a little bit. Sorry? I disagree with that a little bit. Okay. Um, so what do you disagree with? Because I feel like, not to take it back to the negativity, but, I mean, we are here to kind of air our issues, isn't it? I feel as though, with regards to work, um, if I'm doing something, as much as he is supportive, there's a current situation where I feel like you're being very unsupportive and he's kind of being an enemy of progress, if that makes sense. So I'm running a business, for example. Well, I'm actually starting a, a company, a business, isn't it? Um, is this a new business? Yes, it is. And I've got someone doing my website, and he's doing a fantastic job. We're halfway through. I've paid him fully, no refunds. Um, and Paul liked it at first. And um, obviously, now that he knows the guy, he no longer likes work and he kind of wants me to stop working with him Quite no explanation what is the reason that you're not happy now we have had a look at the site this is my field by the way personally i feel like right now i, I make the best right um initially uh Trump and i did have a discussion about her business what she wants to do this is weird as hell this is strange to me because you probably just don't find he probably thinks he fancy the guy. I have an issue with the person I want to work with, the person creating my website, the person yeah, that's going to help me put my business out there. He feels threatened. Yeah, no. For me, I don't understand. We haven't had a discussion. He really doesn't want to tell me what the problem is. So I'm not going to just stop working with this guy. You have to get over it. You know, I've, I've worked with you know a number of different influencers, people that she knows, people that she doesn't know, and we've had successful outcomes, which is why she, you know she's spoken to me about her business. Now, the only thing is. At the time when she approached me to deal with it, she wasn't fully prepared. And what, what I mean by that is, you know, if, if you want um, a website done, it's, you can't really just work based off an idea. You need the content, you need the pictures, you need the framework. Which you could have helped me with. No, 100%. But at the same time, that's something that you, you'd have to ask for. So you can't really ask for number five if you if you need number one, two, three, four. If you said, babe, I need, can you help me with the idea? Can you help me with the photos? I've got connections with a lot of people that do all of these things. So I feel like I, I could definitely um, help Choma in this way better than the person that's currently helping her. You're saying that now because you don't want me to work with this person. So I have spoken to Paul about it. I've asked for help many, many times. I don't know if he thought I wasn't serious, but it was only until I went out to find someone myself and found this fantastic guy. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, yes, Paul does websites, but he's never offered once to help me. At the end of the day, Trauma knows what I do in terms of um, my IT business. Um, it's well established. Um, I have a good number of very decent, um, high net worth clients. <laughs> And my work is quite professional, so... So why does she have to outsource? To kind of to You're not doing your job. It doesn't really make sense to me. Like, you have a whole partner in the house that's willing to do the most for you. But... But you didn't. ...go into another person. There's no excuse you can give me. You fucked up. And what was the reason that you think that he's not happy with... Paul is being boring this week. I, I miss him being a complete I prick. No I think like the prick of the well, week we liked it at first. is now Jamal. like it. He thinks he can do a better Prick of the week is Jamal, like but really, do we always have to blame the man? I, I don't, I'm never going to call Dev a prick because, you know, I'm, you know, I'm team women. But why is she with him? Prick of the week is definitely Jamal, but like, Deborah, leave him. Leave him. You know, at the end of the day, from a professional It's embarrassing, sis. The work Honestly, is darling. Um, of a decent standard, I'd say. Um, however... The person doing the work isn't actually that professional. To who? I'm working with him. He's very professional. He's never like I'm. I'm in a professional relationship with this guy, and my work is fantastic. Okay. So. Did she ask me the question? Can I? 
But you don't work with her. How would you know him? She asked me the question. Can I answer the question? No, but you're answering the question ideally should be posed at me because well, I she know asked this me guy. The question, so can I answer the question? Okay. Am I right? I did ask Paul what, whether he had a. Paul does not know issue. this guy, according to me. I, do you know him? You know him. How do you know him? I don't, I don't know. You don't worry about that. But, but the, point, the point I'm trying to get to from a professional perspective, okay? Um, you know, look. At the end of the day, if, if I asked you for advice about makeup, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of take your advice. Okay, but I would always explain why I'm giving you a specific advice. No, that is because the point. You because have I'm... experience and you have, you know, the network expertise. Does so in other sense? words, you tell me what to do and I just do it. Well, if I have the experience and the expertise, Ow. it kind of makes sense. No, I'm sorry, I, that doesn't run with me. If you want me to do something, then explain it properly. As far as I'm concerned, you're probably jealous of the work that he's doing, or you don't want me to do finish off this business. I, I'd love for you to finish the business. Then who's going to do my website? Wait, wait, wait. However, you know, with, with this guy, like... Do you, do you think that um, this could be something to do with you both having different views on life in particular? He's just a difficult person. Honestly, I'm tired of this shit. Oh, okay. You guys started off well. You know, okay, let's do it like this. All right. You guys started like off guy, well. I I've never mentioned this before, but look, we're here now. There's a lot happening. I think it kind of makes sense. When Daddy asked if we'd like to go on a journey, my team and I cried, Yes! You should have seen all those fantastic things. All the so, literally, this guy was a best friend to my ex. Ah. Oh. Right? Best friend, by the way. So he was playing, you know, Mr. Nice Guy, hey, I'll pick you up, I'll drop you off. You know, I'll do this for you. Just as a friend. But then it turns out that once uh, my ex and I have broken up, he was actually... What? Seeing her. Oh, right. After, by the way. So, you know, if this same guy is then trying to follow my tracks and trying to keep up, I don't think I'd want to see a deja vu any time. That's a sad story. Um, thing is, I feel like it says a lot about your ex than it does the guy. Yeah? So don't compare so me. So you're the defendant? I'm not defending. I don't know him like that. I, what I'm trying to say is, if that's what you've been hiding from me, it's too late now, babe. We're, we're past halfway. I've fully paid him. So that means he has to stay on. If you said this at the beginning, fair enough. He's gotten his money. We're halfway through. He understands my vision. I'm sorry. That's, it's late now. <laughs> if that's the reason, you should have told me before. All this time, you knew who was making my website. You didn't want to let me know. You didn't want to bring me in on how you know. Anyway, I don't give a shit. I don't give two fucks because that's his insecurity. He's kind of imposing that on me. She's right? paid. You didn't want to tell me before. So kind of She's paid. What is she supposed to do now? It's too late. I don't She's think paid. Guy, it's too late, motherfucker! Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you paid, sorry, I need to leave for Nell Vanish, personally. He's been professional with me, and that's how I'm gonna keep it. You need to Nell Vanish? That's ridiculous, imagine that! You, God, you're just telling me now. It's pointless telling them, basically. As you can see. But, as a result of what he's just said, I'm can, can you understand that you may feel a bit uncomfortable? I can now, but it's too late. He could have expressed Facts. it before. This is your problem. So now that you've expressed it when my website is almost finished, I should now leave the guy. Well, if I make website, Facts. I she cannot leave the way. guy. I've been asking you for having three years. You've been knowing about this. You've never offered once. Now that I've finally done it, you want to offer because this guy was sleeping or dating your ex, whatever the situation is. I don't care about that, babe. I won't sleep with him. So if that's your, if that's your worry, leave it. It's fine. We're not going to do that. She won't sleep with him. Purr. She won't sleep with him. Purr. Do you think it should be? We spoke in a previous um, session about trust scenarios. Um, and I think you both agreed that you do trust each other. Taking that mindset on board. Do you trust each other? Trusting Shoma to do the right thing. There shouldn't be an issue. Obviously, I'm not insecure, like, look at me. You oh, are, what do you mean, look at time. you? Relax, you know, relax, guy, like, Paul. You know it's a, too much. You know those slimy type of it's guys. too much. You know those guys, those boys. If you know, you know. And he's one of those guys. Whether he sees this or not, he knows that we know who he is. And a person like that, 
to be fair, you need to keep them away from your partner. Do you understand? Like, when trauma is... When but she's paid. Now, I have a solution. I have a solution, Paul. The solution, Paul, is that you run her back all that money that she paid, and then there ain't no conversation. There ain't no conversation, period. Run her all that money she paid. So what she, how much your website cost? Two grand, three grand? Run it to her. Run it to her. Didn't you go, go back him on? Am I lying? That's a different situation. Oh, it's pretty similar. I was talking about time. That's my boy best friend. Tom, we're talking about timings, right? Christina is a new person. You know Jason. Wait, sorry, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Listen, wait, hold on. Girl, like, wrong, I was scared on. Okay, now you're... One at a time, please. Okay, so he is addressing a situation whereby my boy best friend, who he knows very well, Jason, called me at 1am in the morning in hysterics. I went over to his house. Jamel seemed to have an issue with that. But yeah, it, well... You met Christina... I can understand that is odd. Me, personally, I can't, you can't have a female best friend if you're dating me um and if i'm dating a girl yeah um um it's, it's just it, she can't be your type she can't you can never have slept with her no i'm just not on it so okay you see jamal even though he's prick of this the episode prick of the episode um i'm i'm uh, like i feel him like he called her crying and then she had to go there um at one in the morning when you have a man it can never be me it can never be me it's impossible can't <laughs> it's impossible can't if my boyfriend wants to go see his girl best friend, his girl best friend at one in the morning, it's a hell to the motherfucking no, bitch. It's a hell no. Hell nah. Hell nah. You must be crazy. You must be. You must be crazy. Go on, go on, let me hear it. You don't know anything about Christina. Why is she going to you? meet Christina though? Okay, the fact is, you're too comfortable. Yeah, you, you already met her. The pussy residue is on your lips. So she's even more disrespectful. I should have a word at this point. The vagina residue is on her lips, so no. Yeah, Christina messaged me at whatever time it was. Like, skip. Skip advert. Um, I would say ever since he downloaded the app. Wait, what? Wait, you've not even been on the app for like, what, over a month? What are you talking about? I haven't seen Christina's name pop up. What, on my phone or on Clubhouse? A lot. I don't keep up with you on Clubhouse. I don't really care don't about what you do on Clubhouse. Don't like I don't like that app, so I don't really care what you do but you on Clubhouse. However, I've seen Christina popping up probably for, let's say, let me, let's be, do you want me to be specific? Yeah, well. I've seen Christina pop up every, I mean, about for about three months now, I've been seeing Christina's three name. Yes, uh, why are you confused? I think I'm doing it. No, three months to me, so that's the answer to your question. You're linking her. And as far as you're... And you're gonna go see her after this B? It can never be me. It's impossible. Yeah, I don't really care whether he's met or not. Why are you like dating him? He is seeing... Uh, let me let me tell you let me tell you some facts. He's seen Christina. Yeah, he's seen Christina. I told you the pom pom residue on the lip. He's seen Christina and he's not just seen Christina, he's seen other hoes. He was on the shade bar with a girl. And now that you put him on TV, goes in his DMs, goes in his DMs, he's seen loads of hoes. Loads. It's not just one, not just two, not just three, not just four. <laughs> you understand? It's not just five, not just six. You know that song by Ludacris? Hoes. I got hoes in different area codes, area, area codes, area hoes. In different area codes, area, area codes. That is Jamal. The song is written for him. If it's not Christina, then it's Becky. Exactly. That's what I just said. 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 Girls, 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 all the time. I'm always having issues with Jamal. You're going to catch an STD. Combined. You're gonna catch an STD. You better be using condoms. That's all I'm saying with bleach. You're gonna catch an STD. You're gonna catch a mother's effing STD. She keeps sleeping with this boy, bald boy Jamal, because he is a player, and he's been honest that he's a player. He's showing you himself, but you choose not to believe him. God said. 
God said that when a mother ever shows you who they are, you should believe them. Jamal has shown you that he's a popular clubhouse personality. A, a, a PT, never date a PT. A, 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 a good looking man who is ready to spread his oats. He about, he's out here, he's out here spreading his oats. Jamal is not loyal. Jamal is out here, Jamal is a slut. And you have chosen to be with a slut? That is on you, Deborah. We can't have we can't have sympathy for you. Even though I support women, I support women. We can't have sympathy for you, sis, because Jamal has shown you who he is. He's shown you who he is. Now you have to kick him to the curb. You have to kick him to the curb, sis. All right. So I I, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not really interested in the trauma storyline because it's boring. I'm gonna um continue to watch the the Deb and Jamal. <laughs> Ask me a question. I didn't start about it. So, 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 that, so that couldn't wait till the next day. Well, His outfit. He going to see Becky tonight. After, what after he sees Christina. What can I do? Jamal, what did you and Christina discuss at one a.m.? Oh my days! Did I just tell you? It was nudes. It was nudes. Um, it was nudes, and he went to the toilet to wank his penis. I have a question. He wanked it. Jamal. He was wanking it. And then he bust up all over the place. And ting. I mean, who goes to the toilet when someone texts them? So what are you doing in the toilet? Oh, baby, you like it? That's what she was saying. Oh, baby, you like it? You like my ass that I sent you on Snapchat? And he's like, yeah, baby. Um, arch it a little bit more. So let me see. Let me see more. That's what they were doing in the toilet. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I can call Christina after the, this. So just, it's just one, it's a, I don't think anyone's understanding me here. The question is, why is she comfortable to You're message him at 1 a.m.? Whether he's replying or not, I don't like the fact that when you're going to catch an STD, another girl who I don't know is messaging his phone. That is the problem, and that's why I've asked to see the text message because I don't believe it's a plot. It's a nude. And it's a nude! How that makes you feel to Jamal when when somebody does that? Well, I think it makes you seem untrustworthy. It makes you see? seem shady. It makes it seem like you're see? doing something that you shouldn't. But how it is a nude! Um, it makes me feel annoyed. It makes me feel like he doesn't respect me as his girlfriend. It makes me feel like he doesn't. You know, or he he he, he doesn't believe in monogamy. <laughs> not right if Jamel was to ask to look through my phone I'll give it to him without hesitation because there's nothing on there that I need to hide but when it's the other way round Jamel is always shaking yeah but it's because he's cheating on you listen I'm not gonna go based on your hypothesis this this that and that listen concrete evidence I'm telling you right now you don't need to look through my phone concrete evidence I want to look through your phone uh, listen, so you tackle him it's my property I have no reason to give him my phone Jamal. If it was me, I would tackle this guy to the ground. No cap. I would tackle this guy to the ground. Just get, just go buy yourself a Beretta and put it in his face. And what? Unlock the phone now. I ain't got time for this, games. For, he's he's cheating on you, but since you want the proof, innit? Do what you need to do. But I'm just letting you know facts. He's cheating on you. 150 million percent. No, there is no doubt in my mind that he's cheating on you. With Christina, with Molly, with Teresa, with Becky, with Andrea. Come on. Who knows? Right here, right now, we're actually going to look through your phone today. Like, Denise, Wait. I'm gonna, no, 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 hold no, on. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Deborah. I'm going to get out of my phone. Oh, what, Deborah? Do you have it like that? Is he gonna let her look through his phone? No, because today... Is he gonna let her... Jamel, hold on, because I've actually had enough of this now. We're actually gonna look through your phone today, because you, you just do too much. Denise, I'm gonna right put my phone oh, here. Ooh, do the same. <laughs> Is he gonna listen? Wait, wait, Deborah, you got him patted like that? Is he actually gonna do it? None of my exes would do this. Jamel! Because the they were the they would not do it. It's very simple. If you have He's not gonna do it. Hand, Is he gonna do it? Place your if he does it, and we can all look at it if he does it, I rate I rate her a bit. Hide, if you're not hiding anything, 
anything. If you say you are where you are, if you say you're training or doing what you're doing, do let's all look at your phone together. Me, you, Denise. Let's go. You must you know, are you and the world. Put your phone there. She can do that. He's not. He's not. Wait. And that's why you haven't even reached for your phone in your pocket. What? Is he gonna? Put is he? Phone on the table if she makes him do it, I, I'll rate her. I swear to God, I'll rate her. I swear to God, I'll rate her. Put my phone on the table. But I don't see him doing it. You're just asking for too much. I try to embarrass me in front of the cameras. We do. What you want? I'm gonna be honest. There's. I need to see the last three text messages in your phone, and you can do the same to me. So you're not gonna bring out your phone. So you're not gonna bring out your phone. Hey Denise, I'm so sorry, but I can't do this because it's getting too much now. It's getting too much now. Okay. So you're just gonna walk out. You're not gonna dump him. He's cheating on you! Okay, I'm actually tired of this session now. Like, the session or the relationship? Differently. You are in an, an open, open relationship, sis. I'm not asking you to bring it out in the like, session. You're gonna get an STD! <laughs> I'm telling you! You're gonna get an STD! Chlamydia! Gonorrhea! <laughs> Syphilis! Gonorrhea! Chlamydia! Chlamydia! Gonorrhea! Chlamydia! Gonorrhea! Chlamydia! Gonorrhea! Chlamydia! Gonorrhea! Chlamydia! Gonorrhea! That's gonna be you! And look at what she's got on her phone. But that's the thing, I don't feel like I even have to be in Yeah, because she's being loyal and you're not. This obviously is a huge problem for Deborah. Um, but it can't change because he's a cheater. You can't find it in yourself to let her see those messages. No. No, I feel like it's just it's a bit too much. Like, like, just even stuff like that, like, forcing me to put my phone on the table to satisfy. That should have been necessary. It's because he is cheating! Fuck's sake, this is just so chiggering and annoying. That. My man used to sleep on that bed, yeah, and fucking sleep with his phone underneath his pillow. And I knew better. You, you guys, you know when a guy or a girl's cheating or whatever, you know when someone's cheating, but you still stay. And then you want to cry on camera and be having this. And then, oh, I've had enough of the session. How about you have enough of the relationship? He is cheating on you. What, does he have to get another bitch pregnant, have to bring you home chlamydia for you to walk? It's, an, it's annoying. He's cheating on you! Oh, fuck's sake, man. It's actually I'm jarring. Not this one, but your body language. He is it's, it's because if he shows her those three messages, it's peak. About something yourself. He'll lose his girlfriend. Why do you care if you lose her? You obviously don't love her. Oh, Jamal, you're for the streets, man. No cap. And also you, you um, whatever, Deborah, you have no brain cells. Like, really, why are you with him? I mean, you do know that, you know, I'm not on anyone's side. I'm just here. I to definitely hear the get story. that. Just feel, um, like moments like this is almost like make and break. Um, I just don't know how she may may react to her, what I have to say to her. What is she going to react to? What's she going to react to? You have been involved with this, Christina. Christ Christina's not a problem. Like, I've never met Christina. Christina's just a friend. Like, okay. we just communicate, obviously, over the phone and through Clubhouse, but I've never, never seen each other, no. So you've got nothing to worry about? <sighs> What's happening? Or have you? What's happening? What's happening? When Daddy asked Sorry, what's happening? Journey, what's happening? Cried, yeah, Is he gonna admit to being a dirty download, dirty scumbag dog? Oh, this is juicy. This is juicy. I'm salivating. We're fast forwarding. I'm not listening to you anymore. Sorry. Sorry, don't care. What? What? No, sorry. Can we go back to Jamal and Deborah? Yeah, we had a conversation in the car for about. It will take five, four hours or so. Well, let me put it this way. Whatever happened in that car, would you be comfortable with Deborah doing the same thing 
with somebody else in a car? No. Cap. He's capping. I think the best question for me to ask now is, are you prepared to tell Deborah today about this scenario? Do you know, she just acted a few seconds ago, thinking about a particular person. Like, I think pff, this would definitely break her if I told her it was my ex. Especially her. What did I say about the fucking ex? I can't watch this. What did I say last week? I told you, you fucking ex. And he capping about the freaking car having a conversation. He capping all the way. He capping. You lot, if you lot think for a second that he's only cheating that ex, you lot are dumb. He cheating bad things. There's more than one thing, and he ain't using a condom. You're gonna catch an STD. Remember, I told you. He's capping. Think I don't know guys like him. I dated guys like him. My friends have dated guys like him. I've been seeing guys. Like, I know guys like him. He is a player. He doesn't even use a dom. He probably he's gonna be spreading his 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 seeds wild and far and wild. He's gonna be selling it all, all, all over the place. He's gonna be having kids here, there, and everywhere. Timbuktu. He's also gonna have kids here. STDs for everybody. STD. Who wants an STD? You want an STD? You want an STD? You want an STD? STD party. Do you understand? He's gonna give you STD. He's gonna give you, he's gonna give you girls babies and he's gonna break your heart and make you, leave you feel like an idiot, I swear to God. And let me tell you something else, if you think that it's just sex, that ex, he, it's cap. They'll be telling each other, baby, I miss you. Oh, I'm so confused, like, obviously, like, you know I'm in a situation, but I still think about you. He's, he's, he's saying sweet nothings to the other girl because that's how bad guys are. Guys will not just cheat physically all the time, you know. Guys will also cheat emotionally. They will actually like the other girl. They will like the other girl. Never ever let a guy tell you that, that oh no, it was just sex. They some they catch feelings when they cheat. Don't be a chewing gum girl, don't be an idiot. They're probably dump this guy. Oh, it's too much. Oh, it's too much. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> Bitch, nigga. He's taking you. He's taking you for chewing gum. Okay? He's taking you for chewing gum. He is cheating on you. He's he he's sleeping with his ex. He's telling his ex he loves her. He's sleeping with with Christine. He's sleeping with everybody. I don't care. If you next next week, if you don't flip your lid, if you don't flip your lid, like I want Fed police to pull up to that to that therapy session. Do you understand? Police to pull up to that therapy session. If you don't smack his face, yeah. I'm gonna be very disappointed. I'm sorry, I'm, it was, I'm, my hand really hurts. You can, I can, like, this can never be me on this show. I, I would, I would, I would, I would go to jail. I, I would be arrested. I would smack him. I was, I, facts, facts upon facts, he's effing her and he's telling her he loves her. Facts, it's his ex. Why can't he res You think people have sex with that ex and talk to that ex for four hours in a car if it's just friendly or it's just sex. He has feelings for the girl. So if you want to do yourself a favour and not embarrass your life, yeah, walk away, dump his ass. Collect all the followers you've got now and become a bad B. F men and all this bull bullshit. I haven't got time. I have to go. I've got a blind date or whatever. Like I said, watch my blind date. Watch my blind date. Um, ugh. anyway, whatever, I've got a blind date, like, I can't be going there all heated, and, 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 and I'm bothered, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it, okay, I can't do it, you know how I feel, bye, but I love you, until next week, because I'm ready to see her reaction, yes, I'm ready to see her action, yes, bye guys, Mwah.